These are some of Gaza's most vulnerable. These prematurely born babies are meant to be kept in incubators, with oxygen and temperature regulating equipment helping every breath they take. But due to the constant Israeli siege and bombardment, they are now bundled up in towels and sheets in Gaza's Al Shifa hospital. With insufficient fuel and no electricity, hospital staff have suspended operations and are urging the international community to help save the youngest lives in the besieged strip. We requested protection for these children and protection for all patients in the intensive care unit. However, they told us that you have only one hour to remove these children from one place to another. Now we place these children in very unhealthy uh, places that is not conducive to their condition. These children were born after less than seven months of pregnancy. Now we are struggling to save their lives using primitive uh, methods using manual, simple methods. But however, this is very unsustainable. Al Jazeera spoke to a father of two infants who are being treated at Al Shifa Hospital. He says he feels beyond helpless. Honestly, this is something you cannot describe when you reach to such a point where you can't provide safety to your newborn children. Honestly, today when I spoke with the Red Cross, literally they told me that they have suspended their operations in Gaza and they have no news about Mira and the Hub. No news at all. I don't know whether they are all right or not. This desperate father is among the hundreds of thousands of Palestinians forced to leave their homes in North Gaza to escape Israeli strikes. Al Shifa Hospital is Gaza's largest medical facility. Thousands are using the hospital as shelter. Almost 5,000 patients are receiving care and nearly 800 others are waiting to be admitted. The facility and its staff are at a breaking point. And with every passing minute, the youngest Palestinian lives born into this war are in danger of becoming part of an ever-growing list of young lives cut too short. Imran Allah Khan, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.